In related news this evening, no fast food outlets on Paradise Island. That's the stance Atlantis officials took over a year ago to a proposal to open Wendy's and Marco's Pizza franchises in the former Scotiabank building on Paradise Island. And they're not budging from that position today. According to Atlantis' senior vice president of government affairs and special projects, Vaughn Roberts, resort officials want to sustain PI's idyllic environment. So we oppose it on the basis of, you know, the, the, the potential to create tra traffic and congestion. We don't think it fits in with the ethos and the aesthetics of what we aspire for Paradise Island. Um, we don't really see it as competition. Our food and beverage business is about $200 million a year. So, you know, a single fast food outlet is not really a threat to us. Stakeholders add that the presence of fast food outlets on Paradise Island can also impact its high-end investments. And we, we are aware as Atlantis um, of a number of significant luxury projects that are underway here on Paradise Island. Some that we're proposing as Atlantis and then others that other developers are proposing. Sterling, Sterling Hurricane Hole, the Four Seasons owners are developing a luxury residential uh, Four Seasons. Um, and there are other projects as well. So collectively, we just feel like um, whether it's today or whether it's our aspirations for Paradise Island, we really don't see how a Wendy's and a Marco's Pizza fits at that location on PI.